getting a handle on your niche. Getting started an online business can seem like an overwhelming process. While the concepts are simple enough, put together a product and a website and then get traffic for that site, the application, can be a bit more challenging. So many people think that getting into business online means they will get rich quick, and when that doesn't happen, they promptly give up. They simply didn't realize how much time and effort needs to go into the creation of an online business if that business is to be successful. Of course, once you have your business up and running, it should eventually take very little work to maintain. Until you reach that point, though, there are a lot of different things that have to be put in place before you will see your online business succeed. But it can be done, and the best way I've found to approach this process is to simply take it one step at a time. Choose carefully whether you're creating your own product to sell or selling other people's. You're going to have to choose your niche wisely if you want to have a successful online business. It would certainly be nice if the niche your business served was actually one that you were the most interested in, but unfortunately, it's not always going to work out that way. You should be sure to pick a niche that you do have some interest in, though, or at least that you don't hate. You're going to have to spend a lot of time working on projects related to this niche, and if it's really something you don't like, it can be pretty difficult to make yourself put in the necessary time. That being said, you'll also need to choose something that will get you a good return for all of that invested time and energy. You need to choose a niche that makes money, what people will buy. The sad truth of the internet marketing business is that the best, most useful products are not always the things that people are willing to spend money on. You could come up with a great product idea, market it well, and even get a lot of traffic to your site. But if your product isn't something people are willing to spend money on, you're not going to be able to convert that traffic into sales. Often it can be hard to figure out why people will spend money on some things and not others. While this is an interesting question to consider, it's often beside the point when it comes to building a successful online business. All you really need to know is what people are willing to pay for and how you can get it to them. Who are your customers? In order to market your product effectively, you'll need to know what type of people your customers are and what kind of sales pitch will appeal to them. For instance, an over-the-top, hard-sell approach might work with gamers looking for the latest guide to their favorite RPG, but it may not be quite so effective in selling an information product to working-class professionals. Picking out a good niche for yourself and knowing who populates it will go a long way towards helping you launch a successful online business. Thank you.